Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mayan Trey, and welcome back to episode 19 of my FIFA 15 Road to Glory career mode. We are in season two, wrapping it up uh, with one more episode remaining after this. Uh, we're going to take a look at the table here as we currently sit four points ahead of Bristol City as we are in first place uh, with 24 wins and uh, 77 points overall. We've got, uh, I believe, seven games left. we got three this episode, four next episode, plus the Johnson's uh, Paint Trophy Finals. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and kick this episode off, though, with this league match against MK Dons, followed up with the uh, the match against Morecambe and the Johnson's Paint Trophy Final that we're going to be able to play at Wembley Stadium. Hello, welcome to League One. It's Northampton Town against Milton Keynes Dons. Midway through the season and a vital game coming up as the current leaders take on the side in fourth place. Three points a must for both teams. Of course, the game being played under... And very early on in this one in the seventh minute here, MK Dons on the attack trying to find some space. He's going to charge into the box and a little weak shot that finds its way past Duke but not into the back of the net so we escape a little bit of danger there. 22nd minute, MK Dons on the attack again. And this one goes up and over the bars. It's deflected uh, by Darren Carter. And Darren Carter getting the pass from Tony. He's going to give it up to Nichols. He's charging into the box. Pass back to Tony with the one-timer into the back of the net. 32nd minute. We've taken a 1-0 lead over MK Dons shortly before halftime thanks to another goal by the League One leading scorer, Ivan Tony here. Just, uh, I believe, 20 years old now in this, uh, this season. In the 66th minute, a weird clearance there. Didn't go very far. Missing the header. Hornby misses it. Carter finds its way onto the ball. And he puts it past the goalie. I'm not entirely sure what the hell happened there. It was a couple of failed clearances. A bad pass by uh, MK Don's player. And somehow found its way to Carter, who just rifles it past the goalie. We're going to see here. Yeah, Tony misses the header, I think. He may have gotten a piece of it. Trying to pass it over to Hornby if he was. And then the defender tries to head it out but misses. It bounces off his shoulder, falls right to Carter, who rifles it in past the goalie. Hornby jumps over it to get out of the way, and we are now leading 2-0 in this one. 79th minute, though. MK Don's on the attack here, trying to look for something. We get called for a foul just outside the box here. I believe it's a little too close for him. Don't think they can get it over the wall safely, but I still got to get in position here on the line. Now it goes too far over the net. No, uh, no danger there. And in the closing stages of the game, uh, Matt Duke making a tremendous save there, sending it out. And on the corner, uh, we get a little missed header there, and then we finally clear it out, and there's the final whistle. So we managed to hang on for a 2-0 victory there. Pretty comfortable lead. Matt Duke coming together whenever it, uh, when we needed him with that 7.2. Darren Carter just holding it down, though, with that 8.1 and the, uh, the, uh, the goal that seals it for us. But now we've got a press conference right before this final game. Going to go ahead and praise my team to get right back to the Johnson's Paint Trophy final in the second straight year. Hopefully we can defend our title here as we're going to Wembley to take on Morecambe, who uh, is still in League 2. I believe they're pretty low in the table, so we're going to see what happens. Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Johnston's Paint Trophy final. It's Morecambe against Northampton Town. Let's get straight to Wembley Stadium then. The arch looking absolutely at its best on a beautiful clear day. Your comedy team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, these teams have worked their way through. It's not the most high profile. 11th minute, we've got a little corner kick here. First scoring opportunity of the game, and Diamond with the attempt puts it over the top of the net there. 16th minute now, Morecambe on the attack, trying to make something happen. Charging into the box with the pass, and they curve it around Duke into the top shelf. Not entirely sure how that ball found the back of the net. That took a wicked curve. Probably get a look at it here. Passes it up. Yeah, that's a monster curve on that end of the side of the net there. 21st minute, looking to take a 2-0 lead. Duke turning it away. Stones the attempt there to keep it a one-score game. 31st minute now. Up to Morius into the box with the header. Bounces it off of the uh, the ad boards behind the net there. Right before halftime, though, O'Dowda with the ball. He's going to give it over to Moyo. He's going to cut around. Uh, little Can't find any space to Griffith. Griffith misses it. Back over to Morius. And his shot bounces harmlessly off the side netting. So uh, we're going to go into halftime down 1-0. Uh, not looking pretty good. Um, we've gotten a couple chances on offense. But overall, we've been kind of dominated on the ball from Morecambe. So I'm going to turn to uh, the guys 
uh, in the movie Goon. Uh, it's a hockey movie. It's one of my recent favorites. I really enjoy the movie. You guys should check it out. Uh, it's pretty funny as well. It's got Sean William Scott. Anyways, I'm going to turn to those guys. Hopefully, pump the team up with a little bit of halftime speech here. All right, boys. Listen up. We're still in this thing. We just need a quick one. Listen up, cats. We got to work harder than them, okay? Get harder than them, guys. You know what's hard work? Going through a divorce. She's trying to get all my money now. She can have half of it. I don't give a shit. The other half, hard work, mine. Some guys on their team are fucking divorced. Three guys there. These fucking marriages are in the fucking toilet. We're playing divorced guys. Yeah. We gotta be fucking triceps, biceps, arceps, hard. Hard. Greek fucking underground gay porn hard. You're all Adonis's. Highlanders, gay porn hard. Gay porn hard. All right, we're gonna go ahead and kick off the second half here. With a steal from Morius on a fumble from the uh, Morgan player, he's in on goal, and he rips it off of the crossbar. That was our best chance so far in this game to uh, to gain a goal back. But then immediately after, we concede a goal with that spectacular attempt by, I don't even know who scored it from Morgan though. He finds a great space in there behind uh, Diamond and just rips it over the shoulder of Duke. He just, no time to react. So I'm going to bring in Ivan Tony for uh, Billy Smith and I believe another player as well. And then in the 61st minute, we give up a penalty. It's a bad move here. We gotta make the save and Duke saves it. That could be the turning point. It's still a two score game that, uh, that saves it from being a three score game. So 64th minute, right over to Nichols. And he puts it in the back of the net. Morris to Nichols just uh, brings us a goal closer. It is now a one shot game in the 64th minute. And uh, what, turn, what could have been uh, just a game getting out of control immediately going the other way with it. Oh, just a beautiful finish from Nichols there. And uh, they're closing it down this time. They're not going to let Morris get some space, so he's going to get over to Robertson. He's trying to get around the defender. He comes in with a slide tackle, and we get a penalty right back. Tony's going to take it. You know where he's going with it. Top right, the goalie knows too, but he still can't make the save. 71st minute, Ivan Tony has tied the game up. And just like that, we have gone from being potentially down 3-0 making the save, getting a goal, and getting a follow-up to tying it up. And in the 74th minute, Nichols over to Tony, and Tony bounces it off of the top of the net. So close to taking the lead. Three goals in like 10 minutes. That would have been ridiculous. Odauda finds space past two defenders with the ball. He's in on goal, but unfortunately, he can't finesse it around him and just rips it right at the goalie. So he's going to give it up to Nichols here. Late in the game, 88th minute, he's coming in, tries to split the defenders, but he gets dragged down. Getting another penalty. Ivan Tony, same place as always. Goalie has no idea what's coming. And that is it. We have finally taken the lead in the 89th minute. Oh, my God. Just the culmination of hard work this entire game. Never giving up. And, uh, yeah, Ivan Tony just finishing it off there. Beautiful goal. Takes his time. He doesn't try to slam it too hard. Uh, yeah. He takes a light touch on it. Make sure he puts it exactly where he wants it to go. Four goals in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. I believe that to be the most out of any player. So right before the end of the game, Morkham still looking for something here. We get called for a foul just outside of the box. So uh, now they're going to hold on to it, take a set piece here. This is it. This is for all the marbles right here. DeVitt, I believe his name is. He's going to take it. Bringing in a second attacker. He's going to come up and take it, though. And he sends it over the net there. Well, in the end, that penalty kick and the award of it was the decisive moment in the match. It was, wasn't it? The referee pointed to the spot. It always looked as if that was going to decide this tie. So it's cool. I hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we have. Until the next time, from Martin Tyler, a very good bye to you all. They got it. They've won. Johnston's paint trophy. Well, up they go. Memories that will live with them for the rest of their lives. To win this tournament, and all that it means to those players. They're under the bounce. Yes, and Anthony Griffith at 8.1, man of the match. But really, like, I can't, I, there's not really a single person I could pick out for that whole team. Everybody just kept fighting and kept fighting, and we earned that hard fought 3 2 victory. That's probably my greatest comeback so far during this career mode. It's definitely the most meaningful to get that, uh, get some silver in that. But now we've got a league match against Bury. Hopefully, 
we don't uh, slack off a little bit after that uh, super high adrenaline win. Hello, welcome to League One. It's Bury against Northampton Town. It's late in the season. They are top of the table. Can they keep... Right away in this one, very early on in the first minute, uh, Duke with the save, but we can't maintain the rebound, and they slip it past him right off the bat, just like I said. We did exactly what I said we could not do. We got caught sleeping by Barry. Just less than two minutes in, we're already down, but right away in the ninth minute, though, Nichols trying to get it back. He comes in on goal, gets it over the goalie's shoulder, but just a little too high to put it on target. Right before halftime, miss a couple of tackles. But uh, luckily, they send the shot wide there. 64th minute, Hornby with a set piece out of the corner. He's going to give it. Griffith's going to take the header. And uh, just can't do anything with it. Just way too up and over. Way too high. 81st minute, Barry trying to extend the lead. And Duke's going to turn that one away. We get another great lob up to Nichols here. He's in on goal. He's going to take the shot and rips it off the post. That was so close. That could have been it. But unfortunately, we can't get, uh, get the goal. We can't tie it up and we dropped three points. Right after that spectacular win over Morkham, we come right back and come out flat in this game here. As you see, a lot of people getting under 6.0 ratings. So heading into the final game of the episode against Chesterfield, I'm gonna go ahead and go and uh, offer Michael Proctor here a uh, uh, contract, be promoted up to my senior squad uh, as we go ahead and get this game against Chesterfield started. Hello again, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is sitting with me. We've managed to get through the puddles to the commentary position because it is a very wet day. And uh, real quick, the reason I did that is because uh, it's been discovered on uh, Reddit and stuff mainly that uh, players, if you promote them before their first ever May update, okay, as Moyo comes right off the bat with a goal, a very different start to this game as opposed to the last game. So we've definitely starting off a lot better here uh, with a 1-0 uh, lead. 10 minutes into the game, but as I was saying, if you promote a player before his very first May update, his physical uh, attributes will grow normally, like they should, but if you let him go through at least one May update, they won't grow until their uh, early 20s, so that's why, like, Harry O'Dowda, okay, and we give up a goal, 43rd minute. Wasn't expecting that right before halftime. Just kills the momentum we were trying to take into it, so we're going to go into half, tied up here at one all. But like Harry O'Dowda, Billy Smith, all the youth players basically because everybody's gone through May updates. They're all, as Onya Dimma's getting the ball, he's going to give it up to Moyo, trying to extend or regain the lead. He bounces it off the side netting there. 80th minute, they were in on goal. They passed it across. I don't know why, but they almost get away with it there as they beat Studer with it and just inches wide uh, with the shot. 88th minute, Studer gets a piece of that one to turn it away. Very, very great save there. But there's the final whistle, and that's going to end the final game of the episode. Uh, just real quick though, uh, basically if you're if a youth player goes through a May update, his physical attributes won't grow until he hits his early 20s. If you get him out into your senior squad before his first update, uh, then they will grow normally. But unfortunately, the downside of that is the lower starting overall. So that's going to wrap up this episode though. We've got one episode left. The next episode will be the season finale. Hopefully, as you see down there in the bottom right, we are four points up on second place and uh, six points up on MK Don. So hopefully we can maintain automatic promotion and uh, hopefully we're going to see what happens. But I think we have a shot, a real good chance at uh, winning the league title. So cross your fingers. Let's get that taken care of and I'll catch you guys later.